Okay, we put it in the game and it was the wrong size. Let's make it the right size. So to do that, we just need to go down here, and this is the same place we did our export stuff. We're going to change the size of the block. I intended it to be 4x4x1. Four by four by but you can see that this is not, these are not one to one with Blender units. Uh, in fact, 4x4 four four is 10x10. 10 10. So I know that I have to multiply mine by 2.5. So I've just scaled it up by 2.5. We're going to move it over to its new home in the corner. There we go. This is the right size for our block. Let's apply the scale and the location. I don't think you have to do that, but uh, better safe than sorry. The next thing I want to consider, right now the mounting points on this block include this area here, um, which means that you can actually like stick a block here and just have it floating off the surface. That doesn't make any sense. Let's go ahead and make a slightly better set of mounting boxes, uh, you know, mounting surfaces. So to do that, we go over here into the third layer. The third layer is where it draws all of its mounting information from, and this is very easy. You just go over here into Create, and down at the bottom there is Mount Points. You click on that, and it starts up this uh, set of box sort of uh, faces, and you just go in and edit those. Now, for clarity's sake, you should have both of these up and working so that you can see everything at once, but these are definitely supposed to remain on the third layer. So what we don't need, we don't need this guy, and we don't need this guy. But the rest of these we do need, and we actually need to change their size and scale. So you can actually freehand this. The only thing you have to be careful of is don't pull it off of the surface like this. It's okay if it is uh, uh, a little bit freehanded along the surface. So we're just going to scale these up like so. And there is one over here. It's invisible just due to the bad lighting. So this will work fine, and now we're just going to adjust these. Now there's some question as to the uh, exact way we want to do this, but I think that the best way to handle it would be to uh, scale these up as uh, individual, you know, one unit boxes like this. So if we were to scale this up like that, and then... Oops. Let's freehand it. Why not? And then we can, oh, see what I've just done? I've ripped it off the surface. You've got to be careful about that. There we are, X. That's what we want to scale it on. And then scale Y. God damn it. Scale Y a lot more than that, please. Scale Y. There we are. That's better. And now what we can do is we can shift D to duplicate, and we can rotate um, rotate Z 90, and move them over here. Now, for the sake of not being silly, we won't have them overlap. Although I don't believe that causes an error. I think it's fine if they overlap. I don't don't think the game cares one way or the other. But we would also like to allow people to mount here. So let's duplicate this, put it over here. Did I drag that off? I did. I dragged both of these off the surface. Let's try that again without the uh, without moving them off the surface. I should have been in orthogonal view. He actually recommends you use orthogonal view. It just slipped my mind for I mean uh, you know the straight on uh, angle. It just slipped my mind for a second. Wasn't thinking. All right, so now let's duplicate this. Move it down here. And what we're going to want to do is scale it up on the y-axis and scale it down on the x-axis. Uh, looks like we need to scale it down on the y-axis as well. I was too aggressive. And uh, scale it down on the x-axis. That'll do. All right, so this is our basic uh, attachment shape. Now, I am not sure whether or not uh, this is supposed to be like units to units, but very, very clearly, these are not one-to-one. -one. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Must be part of Space Engineers. I have tested this before, and it works fine with this setup, even though you would think it would be more happy with a unit, you know, exact units. So all we have to do now is export the scene as a block, and then update the block definitions. Shall we see how this looks in the game? 
you may have noticed, uh, or you will notice shortly here, I have updated the visuals just a touch. I've added in some luminescence, some emissions, as it were. Um, and that makes my stuff glow in the dark. Later on, we will be adding in some recoloration. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that tube in the middle that glows, I'm going to make that the um, activity display so that when the reactor is running, it'll be one color, and when it's passive, it'll be another color. But Space Engineers chooses those colors, so in that case, it would be, I think, bright green if it was, if it was running, uh, and yellow and red if it was not running. We'll have to figure that out. So this is what it looks like. You can see it is now the right size. Um, you notice that Space Engineers failed gracefully and uh, deleted the block that was taking up the same space here. So that was nice of it. One of the other things that it did automatically is it created a small ship version. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah, there we are. So you can see the small ship version is literally just a scaled down version that fits on a small ship and the same number of small ship blocks. You can change that, um, it's not absolutely required to be that size. And if you're wondering about sticking blocks to it, you know, the attachment points, we'll just pick a block and you can see attachments fine, attachments fine, attachments fine, oh, no more attachment. So it works great. Uh, we can choose whether or not this is in error by simply changing uh, the exact position where the block is, uh, you know, willing to accept attachments. And here we have uh, someone shouting in the megaphone in the background, so I think this is a, probably a good time for us to stop this video. It is fully ready. The only thing left for us to do is make these into actual conduits so that we can plug in and pipe uranium inside, which isn't... I haven't figured out how to do that yet, to be quite honest, and I've asked the uh, developer, Harag, to, uh, for, for some assistance to see whether or not he's willing to tell me a little bit more about it. Um, short of that, the last thing we will, we will need to do, and I don't know whether we're going to start on that next episode or this, depends on what sort of responses I get, we are going to need to create level of detail and construction elements so that we are ready for uh, proper usage in the game world. Before I do that, I want to create a battery version of this, and we'll just do all of the level of details and construction stuff for all of for both of the elements at the same time. So there's a little bit on my plate, and I'm not sure what the next episode is going to be, but this is probably as much as you needed to get your mod running. So you can continue to follow along as I develop my mod, and you want to know more about more advanced features. This is, however, a fully functioning block in the Space Engineers universe. As long as you don't mind the fact that you can't actually um, pump uranium into it yet.